So it's, uh, I'll talk loudly. So the thing that um, it's very good to be here um, for a number of reasons. Uh, uh, one of them, uh, for me personally, is that uh, working. I worked with uh, the I Feel Smart uh, guys in the room here, but for uh, about two years. Uh, this was a number of years ago, but um, uh, and it, it was it was for me because I, I designed. I worked a lot on television and uh, television design. Uh, I'm from the U.S. You can probably tell from my accent. Uh, I, I was there for worked about 40 years in Hollywood on, on many different types of projects uh, around television and other kinds of interface. Um, so it's really exciting for me to see uh, this newest one that, that I've worked on more recently actually happening, and it's, and it's very exciting. And I, I commend Buick for its vision to, to the, because there are, there are steps here to move, you know, take a take a step into the future. You know, it's like. Uh, it's, it's really, uh, really, really terrific. So, and I look forward to following how 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 it develops and all that. So, um, I wanted to show a few things here. Um, so, um, it, just I'll say a couple things. I'm going to keep mine short so we have some time to continue to talk and to look at the, the various uh, screens around and here now. So, but um, um, I, I often say that all good interfaces. Um, have three uh, three qualities to them. One is that they're simple, they're also powerful, and they're also engaging. Those are the three things that if you have all three of those, you have a very good interface. The, the two that combined are interesting, are simple and powerful. Because you can imagine in today's world where it's, it's a complex thing to, to uh, for a customer, with all the options and all the choices and types of media, it can be confusing so, because you have a lot of options. Uh, so when something, uh, if you say, let's make that simple, uh, it's often easier to make it broader and more complex and more, more elements. So uh, to me, uh, if it's simple, but also quite powerful, that's, that, that is what, that's the kernel of what you do. Now the engaging bit is the part that I, I particularly enjoy too, because I, I talk a lot about what I call rich media. I'll show you this next uh, slide here. So these are some, these are some keywords for what, what I try to look at for for any any interface. Um, one of them uh, is to make it clean, make, make it clean and simple. I mean, it just uh, uh, I, I think that uh, I I want an interface on my television to not compete with all the glorious video that's playing in the background. So keep it simple, keep the type simple, keep all that simple. Um, and then rich media for me means um, that the audiences today. Uh, many of you are holding smartphones in your hands. We're, we look at smartphones, and they, they, they're animated. They have beautiful animation. They're layered. They have, they have motion. And it's, it's, that hasn't quite happened <laughs> as much as we'd like for, for many years now on television with current, with current set-top boxes. So one of the things about this box, it, it, the, the Miami box, is that it really is it, it, it's considering power you know, in, and, and, and Performance and being able to do things that we can do, you can spin through things, you can do things that you can't do in all set-top boxes. So that's that's really great, and it's also rich and layered, uh, all the qualities for design that we like. Um, uh, it's snappy because well, one of the things that, that uh, when we all got our smartphones, you could take a list, you could swipe it down, and a list would spin down like that. So I challenge you to try to do that on, on other kinds of set-top boxes. You just can't do that. So this this device, you can actually uh, this uh, box. Uh, uh, it actually has a lot of power that, that starts to match that kind of feel that you get from your smartphone. Um, uh, space, a sense of space. Uh, I've always looked at the TV screen uh, as, as a space that's not flat. So being able to, uh, you've maybe seen that when you navigate through this, that you can, uh, um, when you go into more of a deeper level, that, the, that instead of a flat grid, it kind of looks like it goes back into space. That sort of sense of building a place, a sense of space, which is hearkening to the future, really. So I'll talk about that in a second. But um, dynamic. Yeah, I, I love the fact, one of my favorite things in the interface is moving over and then typing a filter in, and instantly it flips things over. You get this sort of, almost like those train station flipping things. It flips over. But that dynamic quality to be able to kind of quickly look at things and look at options is really kind of fun and powerful. Um, uh, progressive, um, meaning it's, it, it keeps leading to something else. And, and the progressive element is about transition. I, I'm a big fan of, 
uh, and talk about this, where in television design, is how, it, how does it transition from one thing to another? Does it smoothly move to that, or does it just pop to something else? So that's, that's a big deal. Um, fluid, related to that, and an open, an open system. It's based on Android, so this, this, this is the way things are in the future, an open environment. Um, and forward-facing, so let me click to my next slide. Um, this, the, I wanted to point out where we are in time here. So the, the, this is a chart I can show that like, for, for screens, well, I'll, I'll start pre-screen, like the print, before we have electronic media. Then we go to photography, and then film and video, and television, that third one down. That orange dot is a person looking at the TV. But notice it starts to become a space, the, the, the perception of space. Uh, and they get big screens, and then, then it moves from passive media to interactive media. So we're down in this stage right now. That, that's, that's what your TV is doing. You can interact and move things around and do that. Um, uh, what, what's happening, I'm actually working in some of this, which is headed. We, we've seen Oculus. We've read about Oculus. We've read about Google Glass, and we've read about uh, augmented reality. Uh, some of the augmented reality in particular is interesting because it's, it moves the graphics say for an interface, off the screen. So uh, that could be, five years from now, what, 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 what we may be uh, navigating with. So uh, uh, that, that's interesting, but, but it's, uh, I like to think that design can, can, can be done now and work with today's technology, but it starts to lead into things. The sense of dimension, the sense of snappiness, the sense of other things, that's leading to what we want in the future. So. Uh, and this is just a, a, a diagram about that sense of space. Uh, the, this new space in front of the TV, between TV viewers, the new space. And I might mention that when we were first developing uh, uh, the Miami uh, platform, that, that we had it running on a 3D TV. And, and you could take the grid, and those would actually seem like they floated in the room. It was really interesting to navigate. It's a little peek into the future there sometimes. But, uh, um, so what I'd like to do now is just, is, uh, this, this that's running is, is the interface, which you'll see back there. But, it, but this is just showing certain things like the progressive engagement, meaning it's very important that sometimes we don't feel like we need to go clear into a deep interface. So that first step, the step in the stages of moving in, that, that's the progressive engagement, which is a, an important element. And the flow to it, it flows through by animation. Animation design means that it segues from one thing to another like this. It doesn't jump and pop to something else. Um, and it, and it has a flow to it, it's dynamic, it's consistent. So uh, rather than try to point out all the elements here, you can see all of those after we're done here. And you've already seen it on the, on the interface. Um, but this sense of movement to, to go from one thing to another is, is a core element. Um, uh, I, I think that may be um, all that I was going to say. But, but, but I, I wanted to, to, I really enjoyed meeting uh, people from the folks from Weed here, who I, many of them, and I, um, and uh, and many, many the others of you as well. So the other kind of uh, independent folks on the side here. So um, I, I wish I wish you uh, all the best for, for this new product. So and there's all there's a lot of work ahead to, to get it out there. So that's good. That's great. Thank you very much. Yeah. Merci Del pour nous avoir fait partager les raisons pour lesquelles le, le design a été fait ainsi et cet enthousiasme dans la vision de la façon d'appliquer l'utilisateur et le, le navigateur qui se trouve de l'autre côté de la télévision. Je remercie également l'ensemble des partenaires qui sont là aujourd'hui. Vous avez les gens de Spileo qui sont ici, les gens d'IFS également. Merci pour le travail qui est fait, qui donne des résultats qui sont tout à fait probants. Vous allez pouvoir vérifier, valider. Vous avez même ici la possibilité de regarder ce qui va sortir encore un peu plus tard puisqu'on vous a mis un coin un peu là dans lequel on vous présente ce sur quoi nous sommes déjà en train de travailler au-delà de ce produit qui va donc arriver chez nos clients, pour nos clients euh, à partir du mois de janvier. Le mois de décembre, c'est plutôt traditionnellement un mois qui est très réservé au mobile. Donc ça ne fait pas exception. Donc le mois de janvier, nous allons consacrer à l'introduction pour nos clients en priorité puisque le, vous avez peut-être vu qu'on a mis un hashtag tous nos clients d'abord qu'on est en train de pousser de plus en plus. Eh bien, donc, nos clients auront accès à ces box dès le mois de janvier et pourront faire un prix de lancement qui sera donc de 25,99 euros. Donc voilà, vous avez le tarif, vous avez la date et vous avez maintenant la capacité à aller de stand en stand pour pouvoir le tester, le naviguer et vérifier comment l'interface et la puissance de l'interface et la puissance de l'écosystème 
qui est d'ailleurs rendu possible grâce à nos amis d'Android que je vois sourire dans le coin de la salle à bas droite. Voilà, merci beaucoup, bonne navigation et bon test.